What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb and in today's video we're in the house and we're gonna go through a complete tour of the studio. Yes, I am finally in the studio to show you guys basically a complete tour of everything in my new streaming, live, live streaming, filming studio inside of my new house. But before we go into a complete tour of the setup you were just in and the podcast setup that we're sitting at right now, more details on that in a second, I do want to thank everybody that's watching this video because this is my first kind of back to being current video, like literally filming this Today, uh, I will be posting this video in a couple days later here, um, here in February 2022 for anybody. If you didn't notice, my gig logs are like three to four months in the past that I've been posting. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm just in backlog and you get the gist. But 50K subscribers, if you didn't see, we hit the 50K mark. Huge shout out to everyone on the channel. Thank you guys so much. You don't know how much that means to me. It's literally been a gold mine for like three years now and I am 100% at fault for not literally putting like barely any effort into trying to grow the channel over the last year and a half-ish. But you know, COVID happened and it's been a bitch. And um, I've seen a lot of growth in other aspects of my life, my company, new house, all kinds of things have been going on. So finally, I, I think I'm grounded back again where I can kind of focus on doing some things. And to start off, we're gonna look at the studio. Before we dive into the details of this studio, I do wanna thank today's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. For you guys that know me, I don't really endorse any products that I don't use myself. And the Ridge Wallet is actually something I've been using for the last three years. I used to have one of those trifold leather standard wallets. It used to be so big and bulky and inconvenient in my back pocket. It's literally the only place it fit. And then I switched over to the Ridge Wallet and it was the best decision ever. It's so much smaller. I can easily fit this in my front pocket. Um, it literally doesn't even feel like it's there. It's super lightweight and compact. It fits up to 12 cards, which is plenty to fit all of my cards, plus a stack of business cards that I can give out to clients. It's got a strap for the cash up here. It's literally the perfect all-around wallet, in my opinion. It has some amazing designs online. They have aluminum options. They have so much more than when I first bought mine. Um, they have this awesome carbon fiber one right here that I have. I love it. So if you guys have a big bulky wallet and you want to slim down to something smaller, I invite you guys to check out the Ridge wallet. I'm going to link it down in the description down below as well as you can check it out right here. Use code DJ Rick Webb and you can get 10% off your order. Thank you again Ridge wallet for sponsoring the video and let's get back into the tour. So I got you guys up high on my tripod right now for this tour because I kind of want to show you guys a little bit of an overview of what this room is. And this actually is one of the bedrooms within my house that I set to basically make into a live streaming, filming, podcast studio. The, per the pure purpose of this room is to make content, to film content, and to do all of that. And first off, we gotta start off with the actual room itself. What all is going on in the exterior, and then we'll dive into what each of the three stations are within this room. Well, maybe four, but there's three basically kind of areas that take place in this room. First things first that we need to talk about, this wall. The walls in general, the paint. This right here is a flat black charcoal. It's actually called Cyberspace, which is a dope name for a color, but it's flat. And it just absorbs all of the light and it just adds such a cool contrast. If you're like standing in front of it to film like any videos, the white monitors look super dope with the backdrop. Any of the photos that we have just look super dope. I just love this color and it was just a great choice for this room. Secondly, and I'm not entirely sure if it comes through that well on the camera or if you can tell, but this room has a, a decent echo to it. Um, it is drastically less than when we started. And uh, I've kind of, and I need to add some more because it's not the greatest just yet, but we have these sound absorbing panels that are kind of like a cool decor design. And this is the backdrop right here for the, the podcast setup that we'll talk about in a second. But I've added, 
I think like 30 of these acoustic panels, little tiles around, and they just go up with double-sided tape. And then also below me, we have this really thick, furry rug. And this rug helps a lot with also absorbing a lot of that sound. And it's just amazing to touch. Like, it, it just feels amazing on the feet and everything. Um, and it's basically the size of this whole entire room. So, sound-wise, sound-wise, those are the two things going in here to try and help with the sound acoustics of this room because a lot of filming is going to be done here. So, I need good acoustics. And the thing that I'm thinking I need more of, and it sounds way better when you're over in this corner um, because of more of the acoustics, is I need some more over here. But... More to come. Last thing before we jump into the kind of the tech within the room, um, the ceiling, mostly the lights. These are actually smart puck lights and there's a whole video uh, on my house channel. If you didn't know, I have a house channel where I basically have been filming the renovations within this whole entire house. You can go check it out. It's called Avocado House. It's linked down below. But these lights are smart. So I have an Alexa in here and they are controlled. So Alexa, studio lights red okay. and voila. All the studio lights, minus the light ring, obviously, are red. So it really adds a cool thing that we can do with filming to change colors, and each one of these can individually be controlled. Um, they're basically hex lights, so they have the amber, the white, the red, the green, and they're completely controlled smart. So we can do some cool things when we're doing some streaming stuff in the future. So now let's get into kind of the tech or the setup of the studio room and what all goes into it. Like I mentioned, this room kind of has three stations and one of those is Command Central back there where basically all of the desk work or the streaming is done. And then we have station one over here, which is basically our main setup for basically anything filming. I can do DJ streaming here. I can film product videos here. Uh, we can do college stuff. There's a lot of things that this table serves. It's a multifunctional setup. We can do overhead shots, etc. We got monitors for the DJing. We have a mic input. A lot of stuff can happen there. Then over here, we have the podcast setup. Now, if you guys are not already a subscriber or know about the DJ Life podcast, this is a podcast me and Eric started back in 2020, but we are now doing the podcast live every other Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, and announcements for those podcasts are on the DJ Life podcast channel where we post when it's going to be live, and also if you're following me on Instagram or you're following Eric Mazagale, um, he's the owner of Dow Oak Events, another buddy here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, we post on Instagram and Facebook when those live streams are going to be, and we bring on industry guests every single week. Um, we've had DJ Bar on just last week. It was an amazing podcast. It's blowing up, and we can't wait to do more. But enough of that. Go subscribe to the channel. It's amazing. New content coming there, as well as my main channel. But yeah, DJ Life Podcast, it's live every other Tuesday. Go subscribe to the channel and join the DJ Life Live Podcast. We also answer questions live there, so go check it out. Go check it out. Go subscribe. Anyways, I preference that in talking about this because this is a big portion of this room. I wanted to basically be able to come in here. Me and Eric, literally any night we want to, can come in here, sit down, and literally start doing a podcast like that. And this setup right now is literally set to go whenever. The mics are already wired in to the desk that I'm gonna show you right now. This right here is basically the main station. This is the hub of everything streaming that happens in this room. Anything related to streaming, whether it's on the main setup, whether it's the podcast, happens right here. And of course, I'm gonna link everything that I possibly can in the description down below, including this amazing, awesome DJ artwork. You can find it on Amazon, believe it or not, that's where I bought it. And this desk is even off of Amazon. I am a huge, huge Amazon person. I, I buy everything on Amazon. Leave down in the comment section down below if you do the same. So on the desk, the most important thing here that we need to talk about, of course, is the candle over here, very important. And also this USB type C phone charger because I have an Android phone and Android is superior to Apple. So those are the most two important things on here. Um, the rest of this is just nonsense. How many people did I just trigger? Anyways, let's talk about the actual setup. Well, I guess this is also going to trigger people, but we have the HP Spectra 15 inch T because I don't like MacBooks and I use HP Windows computers because I love Windows. This is one of like four HP Spectras that I own. This one is a 15 inch T. This is a 15 T. This thing is spec'd out to the max with the max Intel graphics cards, everything. This thing is amazing. It runs flawlessly. I can literally click streaming right now and it uses like 10 
10% of the CPU power. This thing is a badass computer. Basically, we run OBS. OBS is what I run for all of my streaming purposes, whether it's for the DJ Life podcast, the college bingo sessions that I have over here. If you want to know more details on how to stream, you guys should check out the video I made on how to live stream. Um, that was when I set up a huge, giant DJ live stream in my uh, apartment living room. It was insane, but there's a lot of details in there on OBS and how a lot of this stuff works. So go check out that video. I'll link it down below as well. But everything runs off of OBS and this setup, like I said, is set up to be very modular so we can start streaming like quick as can be. So the way I was able to do that is by running all of the inputs to the stream via just one USB type C hub. So this hub right here has like four USB inputs. It has two HDMI outputs and it has ethernet and VGA output for video and an ethernet in for our internet. Talking about our internet, I am thankful at this house, I am able to have literally one gigabyte full up and down. I literally get 900, 700 to 800 to 900 megabytes up and down. It's hardwired, there's ethernet right here that routes back to the utility closet where the internet comes into the house. Um, hardwired ethernet, internet that comes into here, uh, running all Amazon Eero um, Pro 6 routers. I have three of these in the house. Internet in this house is literally the best ever. Literally, the Amazon Eero system paired with the gigabyte speeds, full signal everywhere in the house, full speeds. It's an amazing setup. I love the internet in my house. It is perfect. But internet is very crucial when you are streaming, and thankfully, we have really good internet, so we have no issues streaming. So talking about some of the inputs and outputs besides the internet, we have all of our audio here feeding into the Zoom H6. I've gone into this in a few other videos before. Right now, like I said, we're predominantly set up to run the podcast, so I have two mics coming in from the podcast setup here, as well as we have our headphone jack out right here. This is basically a headphone extender. It goes to a splitter over there that allows both me and Eric to put on headphones and listen to what we're saying, as well as what the guest says on our TV monitor up there. More on that in a second. We also have another mic input that goes to a mic stand over there so that we can have a mic on the main setup. And then also running down into here, this is Pretty much the whole place is pre-wired, but I have another set of XLRs that come into here, which are basically dangling right there that you can plug into any DJ controller you're using, so that way the audio feeds right into the Zoom H6 to do any streaming related to DJing. So it's all set up, ready to go at any time. And in fact, with that bundle of cables, there's actually an IEC. So basically you can plug in any controller that uses an IEC, your SZ, um, whatever, and basically go to town and stream. Then there are two more USBs right here, and both of these are USB extenders, and both of them travel down underneath everything to this location right here, which allows me to basically hook up anything related to USB, which is basically gonna be video related devices. Now I have two of these bad boys right here. These are the Elgato HD 60, right there it is, 60 plus, S plus. Um, and basically they're video capture cards. So basically you put an HDMI signal into this, has a USB out and it goes back into OBS for streaming purposes. Um, right now this one just kind of lays out here as a backup, but down there is one of those HD 60s and it is taking currently the output from this Canon G7X Mark III, um, which is currently shooting podcast setup. So that camera right there is the predominantly the main camera that we're using for the podcast, HDMI out into the Elgato 60, back to the OBS. And then the other USB extender down there is right there so that if I need to hook up a webcam, I can do that. A lot of times if I'm using this setup right here, I use my Logitech webcam because it has a wide angle view. So that works really go good there but it's all pre-wired so that way we can easily set up and stream whenever we need to. And that pretty much covers all of the inputs into here. There is an output and you probably already guessed it, but there's an HDMI output that runs to this 22 inch TV on basically a completely rollable sand. So basically this TV is on casters um, and it's mounted onto this awesome stand right here. Um, and we run the HDMI in and this is basically a monitor extender from there. So basically I can put the chat up here if I wanna do that, or in case of our podcast, we can put the guest up here. So we can put Zoom up here with the guest and we can hear them through our headphones and talk in the mics and have a full complete podcast set up with a third person virtual guest, which is awesome. It works so well. This stand though is amazing because it easily allows me to basically turn this TV and that way I can have the chat right there for when I'm filming there 
good to go. Along with the TV, there's another modular thing in this basically studio, and that is the light ring. This light ring right here is pretty much the biggest you can buy, and it's awesome. On the back here, you can adjust both the brightness and the hue of the light from basically super warm to super blinding bright white. It's way brighter than what you need to. I mean, I'm at 61% and it looks this good. Like it's, it's awesome. And this paired with the five smart lights in here that I can change the hue of those lights. I can change the brightness of them individually. Um, I can literally dial in the lighting exactly for any sort of scene setup that I wanna do. And this actually has filters as well. So I can put blue, green, or red in any of the four quadrants to add like kind of a splash of color, some technical lighting things that are pretty much useless for most of us, but it's techy nerdy stuff that you can get into if you really want to. And that's kind of an overview of the, basically the setups of the two areas. I mean, the only thing I really haven't covered is kind of the actual desk itself. This is a collapsible desk. It's really cool. These actually collapse down and we can basically remove this whole entire thing. If I need to film a big product video here, I can. We have two swivel chairs for our podcast. We have an additional bar seat. We actually have another one in the closet over here as well. So we can do two things with two high bar stools over here if we want to do kind of a more sit up bar style shot and have some controllers laying on the table. Like I said, we're set up to basically stream here. We have a mic here. Monitors are already pre-wired in as well. There's two inputs there for the monitors. These are the JBL Series 3 MK2s. Amazing monitors. They sound awesome, especially in a smaller sort of setup like this. They are phenomenal. Love these monitors. They're sitting on top of um, ultimate stands that bring them up to ear level. Wonderful setup. Love it. And then this kind of means something to me, but this is all of the conventions I've been to over the years. I have kind of like a wall started with all the lanyards and the badges from all the DJ conventions I've been to. Um, that's going to grow substantially once we get back to conventions. And when you first come in, you might have seen it, but I have my Ohio University flag. This is where I went to college, if you didn't know. I love seeing that. Lastly, along with being a content related room, there's one more purpose that this room serves and that is headquarters for DJ Life Clothing. If you didn't already know, DJ Life Clothing, that's my brand. We haven't had a drop in over a year, but dope shirts, they're soft and we're coming back hard this year. So look, you guys can see yourself because these are mirror doors, but behind here we have DJ Life Clothing. Check it out. So this is where all the, the, the leftover DJ Life clothing stock is at, as well as where we're gonna be doing all of our DJ Life clothing drops is gonna be taking place in this room right here. But with that said, as you guys can see, I still have a bunch of inventory. We have smalls, we have mediums, we have larges, we have XLs, we have two XLs, we have shirts. Um, right here are some of the shirts. The shirt I'm wearing right now says, I will play requests on the front. And then on the back, it says tomorrow, hashtag no request, DJ Life. We have it in this green army, and there's also a gray version as well. We have the classic Keep Them Record spinning shirt. We have this uh, premium shirt that on the front just has a clean DJ Life. And then on the back, it has first to arrive, last to leave, DJ Life. And we even have um, a Here to Party shirt. Here to Party, ready to go with the champagne bottle popping. We got that one in purple and blue. We got Keep Your Records in red and gray. We have the DJ Life in both green and regular. There's some long sleeves up here that also say first to arrive, last to leave. There's DJ Life hoodies up here. Um, all this stuff is going to be on sale. I'm going to put it all on sale because we're gonna be relaunching DJ Life Clothing. Like I said, we haven't done a drop in over a year and I got a team now, like I was saying at the beginning, I've been restructuring things around me. I have a team now that's working on DJ Life Clothing strictly in-house. Literally, it's, it's Hannah. If you guys know Hannah at all on the channel, She's gonna be handling all of the DJ Life clothing brand and I'm excited for the stuff we're bringing you this year. It's still gonna be all in house. We're getting it made at the same place. Still amazing, awesome, soft t-shirts that basically like money back guarantee. You, you're gonna love these shirts. The best shirts ever, so comfortable. But everything here needs to go because we need to be ready, fresh, ready to go for the next drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically extremely discount all this stuff. Go check out shopdjlife.com. I'll link it in the description down below. Go check it out. Pick yourself up some amazing, awesome, soft merch. We're going ham this year. But yeah, guys, that is uh, the studio tour. Now, this is one of kind of three, three or four different spaces within the house that I'm excited to kind of share with you guys. This is the first of those. Um, I gotta show you guys the 
office downstairs, my kind of setup office. It's pretty dope. I, I love it. So I got a dedicated office downstairs. We have the garage, which is it's in the works. There's a lot going on. If you want more details on that, go check out the truck channel, Taco Rick. Um, but I kind of wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys the studio and just talk shop to some degree. 50K subscribers. Um, I have a lot of stuff in the works this year. We're gonna get back to filming and posting as much regular content as I can. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some more gig logs, of course. Everyone loves the gig logs. I got some new projects I'm working on, some new concepts that are gonna be coming to the channel here very shortly. More details on that in the future. I'm really excited for that, but I gotta keep that one on the back burner. I can't really, it, it's secret. Let's just go with that. It's a big secret. It's not a product either, but it's, it's game changer. Trust me, just, just wait. Leave down in the comment section down below if you think you know what I'm doing, but guarantee you don't. Podcast. Go subscribe to the DJ Life Podcast. We are literally going to be doing this every other Tuesday, every other Tuesday, and we're going to be posting snips throughout the week of basically highlights from the podcast. We just had DJ Bar on just last week. That's an awesome one. You guys should go watch the DJ Life Podcast. We talk about business. We talk about how to grow your business. We talk about the logistics, leads. Uh, emailing, calling, everything related to the DJ business um, industry. It happens on the DJ Life Podcast. Um, it's an amazing show. Go check it out. We have industry guests every other week. It's going to be amazing. Go subscribe. I can't stress this enough. The DJ Life Podcast, this thing is going to be amazing. It already is. Go subscribe. DJ Life Clothing coming this year. I, I promised it. We're going to be back. DJ Life Clothing, it's coming. ShopDJLife.com. Everything is on sale. Go copy yourself something. I, I wanted to squeeze a lot of stuff into one video here because there was a lot to talk about and I apologize for not posting as much as I can, but as you guys know, a lot of, a lot of shit has happened. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If uh, it was helpful, if you learned something here, leave it down in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. I read and I answer any questions in the comments section down below. I literally read every single comment on every single video. I read every DM you send me on Instagram at DJ Rick Webb. 100% literally anybody that's DM me before and asked a question, that's huge. Ask me a question, I will answer anything you ask me on Instagram. Anyways guys, I love you guys. Keep the record spinning and I will see you guys in the next video coming soon. Peace.